Crow Crew, what's up? Now, <clears throat> all in conjunction. Precious, metals, precious, stones, crystals, whatever have you. Spices. These in a conjunction can be known as one group called precious resources. Spices and herbs. The plant life, the plant kingdom is very, very, very important and imperative to your health that you do this and you understand this. I don't know everything. I'm not no be-all, end-all student. I don't have the be-all, end-all notes, but I, I try to come here and provide you guys with solid sources of material. Show and tell. Okay? There's, there's shit in there. There's stuff to be had. But right now we're talking about metals. But as the book shows here, you see this ground up dust in the mortar and pestle. Because that was probably what they did this in. So then the little white balls, I can see it. You might cannot see it because of this retarded camera I'm going to smash with a fucking hammer. I swear to you. However, you grind, you grind up precious metals. Like say that's ground gold. Okay, that looks like ground curry. Now you know if you put that into water, it's going to dilute the, it's going to thin out all the particles. You know, and then at that point it's going to become water soluble. So that would be one example. Spices, you'll be surprised what the plant kingdom does to the body, ground up and ingested. You're ground up, put on food, cooked onto the food and into food. You know, this book has tons and tons of information about herbs and their medicinal properties the things you wouldn't even know about and there's even certain herbs that grow outside you consider weeds that are extremely uh, holistic apothecary in nature but that's not the topic we'll delve into that the topic is bling bling every time you put something around your neck you want a bling bling every time you put on a ring you bling bling you know so uh not to be getting it too much heavy into these textbooks uh let's look at this one brain like form that's the raw this is called magnesite this is the marbled form now this brings a deep space or deep peace to meditation and relaxation place on the third eye of the stone enhances visualization and imagery it opens the heart chakra and stimulates the heartfelt love including the love for the self which is necessary before you can embrace love from other people Whoo! heavy magnesite can be very helpful in the practice of unconditional love in situations where relationships with other people are difficult because of their behavior or addictions it helps you to, it helps you to feel center standing by placidly and allowing an, the other person to be totally who they are it seems like everybody might need this stone around them on them and in their household seriously because I think this will help the whole planet out however you won't find this I mean it's not that common I, I mean I don't know it says it's readily available crystalline is rare um, yeah without requiring them to change or being affected yourself in any way by their difficulties so this basically you know how people's alright look remember I told you the gym could be a bad place because you're, you're exchanging energies or whatever that's just one example because like whenever you're in the presence of someone doesn't matter if you're in the gym or in the room if you're in the presence of someone what happens their energies mingle okay so you are affected and you change when you keep the company you keep because the company you keep influence you you know it's called influence you know your your fluency becomes changed within influence you're fluently who you are until you become what altered or corrupted you are good and then the polar opposite is evil what right 
Alright, so psychologically, magnesite brings to the surface all forms of self-deceit. It helps recognize unconscious thoughts and feelings and to explore the reason of these. Taking you back into the past if necessary, it induces a positive attitude to life. Magnesite helps egotistical people to take back a seat and teaches them how to listen attentively to others. The brain-like form of magnesite has a powerful effect on the mind bringing the hemispheres into harmony and stimulating the ideas and their application. See, it looks just like a brain. It's perfect. And, might I say, listen attentively to others. Okay, when you listen attentively to others, you're listening to the transients they speak. If you, li if you listen to a full blather on, why would you want to? So, yeah, you can listen to someone, but who wants to listen to a bumbling fool? I don't, and I'm not going to. Okay, I'm just saying that. So I understand where this book is coming from, but if you're a complete retard, I cannot possibly stand there and listen to you talk. I will go insane. Because that is insanity to me. To listen to full speak. Oh, man, jeez, man, that's crazy. Just the thought of it is insane. Okay, Magnesite brings a calming effect to the emotions, promoting tolerance for emotional stress. It supports people who are nervous and fearful and helps them to overcome irritability and tolerance. So, it contains a high level of magnesium. Okay, that's the central core element of a plant. See what I'm saying? What are plants? They're calm. They bring calm, tranquil energy into the home, depending on which kind of plant. Some plants should not be kept in the house because you're, vas you're, you're like violating them. They should be plugged into Gaia directly. They're not meant to be plugged into some man-made soil compost pile in the home. Okay? Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Some, Just like some animals are not meant to be brought in the house. Like say if you had a bird. If you had a bird, ideally... Oh, look at that blue jay over there. You would want it to be... You would want it to be a... Uh, if it's a cage bird, but it's kind of like wild, but it's like your familiar pet buddy. Put his cage by the window. That way it can come into its cage at night. You know, or set it, or at least if it wants to get out and it's smart enough, it can open its thing and go. But it kind of knows where home's at, or its second home. But you gotta, like, let things be. So, like, plants, that magnesium, okay? So, magnesium aids in the absorption in the body, and it detoxifies and neutralizes body odor, acts as an anti spasmodic and muscle relaxant. When do you see plants ever spaz out? You don't see plants spaz out. They're tranquil as fuck. But they're constantly emitting LFOs. They're constantly talking. They're conscious. You just can't hear the LFO because it's, it's really low. It's very slow. It's very slow. Like the waves that provide you cell phone service. Do you think if you heard that shit you wouldn't be insane by now? Bzzz, there's some crazy noise all day? Come on, man. Get the hell out of here. Anybody be gone off this planet. We be banging our heads off doorknobs like headbangers. Bloody ass forehead. Okay. Now, <clears throat> it treats menstrual, stomach, and intestinal and vascular cramps and the pain from gallbladder and kidney stones. Magnesite treats bone, teeth, disorders, and prevents epilepsy. So, seizures. So, spasmodic. <laughs> foamy. But, so, I mean, look, if you have epilepsy, man, call it, get some CBDs, smoke some trees. <sighs> And then your epilepsy will be gone. It relieves headaches, especially migraines, slows blood clotting. Hmm, I don't know about that. If you get cut, you want to coagulate as fast as possible because that means the infection or the opening will be closed and blocked off. And so the infections cannot get in. Magnesite speeds up fat metabolism and disperses cholesterol, preventing arteriosclerosis and agina. This is a useful preventative for heart disease, it balances body temperature, lessening fevers and chills. Pos position this shit. Place as appropriate. Contact with the skin can be used as a gym. Essence for internal and external application. Uh, it's serious. Now, that's not a precious metal that you will see somebody wear. Um, however, <coughs> you need to have that rock, or that raw, that brain. In your crib, or around you, or on your body. Healing. Lapis lazuli alleviates pain, especially that of a migraine headache. It overcomes depression, benefits the respiratory and nervous system, 
and the throat, larynx, thyroid, cleanses organs, bone marrow, thymus, and the immune system. Lapis lazuli overcomes hearing loss, purifies blood, and boosts the immune system. It alleviates insomnia and vertigo, the inability to stay balanced while walking or standing up vertically, and lowers blood pressure. I don't mean to like define stuff to people like I believe that you guys are all retarded. I don't. If you're watching this, you have to have some type of conscious, working, functioning brain. But for people who don't know what certain things are, and if they happen to stumble upon this, I must. I think I should do that. So sorry if I do that shit. All right, I'm not sorry for those who don't understand. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Where are placed on the throat or third eye? Lapis lazuli should be positioned above the diaphragm, so the muscle in which the breathing is con it's contracting. Anywhere between the sternum and the top of the head. So the crown area. Third eye area. Alright, and that is a precious gem. It's a blue one. It's this one. Very beautiful and adorned. It looks very nice with gold. And as you know, gold is a transmitter. Platinum is a transmitter. And these metals are very soft in nature. And the softer they are, the more they, they conduct. Because water is what's soft. It's a major conductor of electricity. So imagine if you had water hung around your neck holding a crystal instead of a, a jewel. Remember remember I showed you guys uh, on that one tape how to do turn on the, the sine wave and it made the that Poseidon power? Imagine that. I can I can see stuff like that in the past in my head. I can visualize it with my eyes open. I don't have to even close my eyes because it's like deep embedded in my brain. Like things like that existed because these things have a frequency. Crystals have a frequency. Elements have changed over time. This world has been corrupted and things have been dug out, i.e. crystals, you know, because there's like Grand Canyon is nothing but a giant quarry. There are different places on this planet that have been dug out. The silica has been dug and scraped. Within that quarry, I'm, I'm telling you, and any other place where they find geodes and stuff like that, where there's those crystal eggs, we crack them open, it's like holy moly amethyst inside. Man, that shit is 100% holy, crazy elemental properties, and it gives off a vibration. Now, I'm telling you that they wrap up metal, the jewels in the metal, because metal is a conductor to your magnetic field and electricity. Alright, now these jewels have their own magnetic field and electricity. Now imagine, okay, because gold, platinum... You know, those metals in rose gold, which I actually think is, you know, is, you know, it's weird. My homie in Germany uh, got some rose gold, and uh, he says it's called, like, bronze or something. But these type of metals, but like, bronze is like copper and something else. I don't know what the actual chemical makeup is. That was a gray jade that just went by here, a little dark, dirty one. That was crazy. There's gray jays too, just like blue jays. No, but uh, yeah, but um, yeah. So these soft metals, that's why they transmit and they have such a high frequency and conductivity because they're soft. You know, metals that are all metal conducts, but the softer the metal is, the more closer to a liquid quality it has, even though it is hard. You see what I'm saying? Because like raw gold, you can damn near bite into it and you that's how you'll know, really. That's literally how you test it. Your teeth are harder, much more hard than the actual raw gold. Like if you dug up raw gold out of the ground, it was like the raw form. You could literally bite the nugget and, cr and crunch it down. You could be like, yeah, you could damn near eat it right there. But I wouldn't recommend it. You need some water with that because you will be choking to death. I, I assure you, unless you have some like type of wet ass mouth for some reason then alright be my guest alright now um yeah so let's talk about um let's talk about carnelian okay it's life force energy and vitality it stimulates metabolism activates base chakra now people don't really wear this I mean they can you should just because it's not a diamond or emerald 
or all that does not mean it's not precious. That's what people fail to realize. Like, they only see diamonds, emeralds, topaz, and they overlook the rest of this stuff. They look at this, like, oh, because it don't bling, it's not bling blingy. You know what I'm saying? Or it's just quartz or something. Oh, it ain't, it ain't nothing special. But you're, you're so stupid because diamond is a piece of, it's a form of carbon in the rawest form. And then graphite, we know, is like wor basically worthless to some degree. It's not that precious, but it is an element which has use. We know that it's a pure form of carbon. So why, di why are diamonds overpriced and people buy zirconia? It just makes no sense to me. It's all retardation. So this influences the female reproductive organs and increases fer uh, fertility, activates base chakra. It overcomes frigidity and impotence, heal heals lower back problems, rheumatism, arthritis, neuralgia, depression, especially in those of advanced years. It regulates bodily fluids, the fluid flowing, and the kidneys. It accelerates healing in the bones and ligaments and stanches the blood. Carnelian improves absorption of vitamins, minerals, and ensures a good supply of blood to organs and tissues. This is serious right here. This is a stone that you want to like keep on you meditate or make definitely tinctures with. Use as a pendant or belt buckle or place in contact with the skin as appropriate. Carnelian near the front door invokes protection and invites abundance into the home. He even does that. See that's Geo Celestite? High vibration. Is a teacher for the new age. Is imbued with, uh, imbued or imbued. I don't know. However you want to. You know. I mean. I say imbued. That's a kingdom English. I speak it like that. With divine energies, it takes you into the infinite peace of the spiritual and contacts of the angelic realms. It jump starts spiritual development and urges you toward enlightenment. It's a useful stone for stimulating clairvoyant communication, dream recall, and journeys out of the body, out of the physical body. So you taking light body journeys. With this right here. Beautiful crystal promotes purity of the heart and attracts good fortune. You want to be pure of heart. Otherwise, you're a corrupt fuck. Heals the aura and reveals the truth. It is a stone that brings balance and alignment. A very great stone. One should have one. Rarity. Easily obtained but quite expensive. So you'll be forking over a shekel for that. Healing. It is excellent healing stone, dissolving pain and bringing love. It treats disorders of the eyes, ears, eliminates toxins, brings cellular um, order. So if, you have, so if you have cellular disorder, it will bring everything into harmony. Soothing influence relaxes muscle tension, calms mental torment. As with all blue crystals, celestite is an effective opener and healer of the throat chakra and is associated with physical conditions. So you place appropriate or used for meditation scrying okay a large piece of celestite placed within a room heightens the vibrations in that room do not place in direct sunlight as the color will fade see what I'm saying every crystal cannot have the good sun because you will break it tapes getting long but yeah man all this shit's pressure uh, precious metals they're all precious so amethyst giant geode hopefully you can see it this camera's blurry once again, I'm going to smash it in a million pieces and show you guys after I'm done. Healing. Ameth amethyst boosts production of hormones and tunes the endocrine system metabolism. It strengthens, strengthens in cleansing, eliminating organs and the immune system. So it, cl it, cleans, it eliminates all that junk within the eliminating organs. So it makes them expel more. An, an excellent cleanser for the blood. Amethyst... Uh, release physical, emotional, and psychological pain or stress and blocks geopathic stress, eases headaches, releases tension. Uh, yeah, it reduces bruising, injury, swelling, treats hearing disorders, heals diseases of the lungs, respiratory tract, skin conditions, cellular disorders, diseases of the digestive tract, so stomach problems in the lower abdominal. It's beneficial for intestines regulation, regulating flora. We'll have to find out what that word means. It has something to do with flowers or something. Or plant energy. I don't know. Removing parasites and encouraging reabsorption of water. So balances the body water. Amethyst treats insomnia and brings restful sleep. Subtle level. Balances and connects the physical, mental, and emotional bodies. Linking them to the spiritual. Cleanses the aura. Transmutes negative energy. So transforms negative to positive And stimulates the throat and crown chakras. Higher up. 
uh, it's helpful to people they're about to make it's helpful for people that are about to make a transition through death <sighs> amethyst can stabilize psychiatric conditions but should not be used in case of paranoia or schizophrenia because your ass will go off the deep end okay so wear a place as appropriate especially as jewelry clusters and geos can be placed in the environment as single points are used in healing place the point towards you and draw the energy in away from you to draw off the energy so that's to get the negative energy out of you to put the power of the amethyst within yourself like i said the crystal quartz the laser quartz wand it will project energy however the amethyst is always projecting so the point of it is the is this tip or the stem of it this is this would be the point right here this part would be you would want it so i'm standing here so i will if i had this crystal which i do and this is how it is it almost looks identical to the one in the book it's so weird okay this is the way i want it pointing at me and it is hitting me right now so yeah and it's and it's beneficial worn over the throat or the heart for insomnia nightmares placed under their pillow amethyst fades in sunlight it will break here's an amethyst wand i just told you if they have one like that and they do you would point it like this at someone so i'll be pointing it at myself pineapple amethyst cluster has small nodules covering the sides uh it like basically takes you to back in the day mythic and fairy tale realms i think that sounds like some cra crazy crap but powerful arch type arch typal healer family and collective myths i don't know that sounds crazy but yeah that's another quote-unquote precious metal you see what i'm saying it's just crazy man yeah i don't know what floor is i'm gonna have to look that up that's crazy probably like some spiritual energy mana like mana chi vital life force pretty sure has to do with plants shit i'm just looking through here real quick man I'm trying to find some stuff i don't know and then they come in shapes look at these little holy shapes like tetrahedron a cube sphere see what i'm saying you need to get crystals definitely in those type of shapes one definitely get you some crystal wands but you know you gotta be careful don't just go pointing them at yourself and people you gotta have the intent and you gotta know what you're doing with these uh stones you know what i mean because you will um hurt yourself or other people not knowing what you're doing i'm telling you that so you don't go ahead don't believe me go ahead and zap somebody with a laser course wand and then when they want to come beat you with that same laser course then you'll understand you should listen i'm telling you don't do it you have to you have to know what you're doing we'll bust down this we'll get into this book we'll get into that one in this one probably in unity but uh yeah crystals how you do it you put it in water you let the sun charge it distill water and you make tinctures if you're trying to preserve them or something like that you have to like put like some type of alcohol spirits in it which I wouldn't recommend because if you're not a drinker, why would you want to put alcohol in it? However, if you want to preserve it, then do so. But why wouldn't you just make enough to just drink on the moment that you need it? I mean, it's good to have a surplus, but geez. I mean, I don't know. That's a lot. All right, Crow Town.